This group of veterans we are honoring today played a large part in preserving our way of life that we so often take for granted. Their accomplishments are well documented <clears throat> and continue to deserve our admiration. Uh, he said, I've always found the reunions fascinating that this group's friendships formed during wartime service lasted throughout their lifetime. Perhaps most heartening of their shared camarader camaraderie was not reveling in their combat exploits, but in the delight they took. Sorry. And bringing to the families, wives and children into this extended family. I can remember my sister and I making the rounds with my father during the reunion. He took such pride in relating our progress and our accomplishments and his fellow reunioners, uh, which continues my father's pension for coining new words. This group of men never forgot the vicissitudes of war, <coughs> but they were always present and future-oriented and built families with the same determination that served them in their military experience. The Chuckatail clan really took on a personal aspect when my father accepted leadership of the group. He took this responsibility quite seriously and recognized the future of this group was in his hands. He used an antiquated but reliable index tracking system to keep track of everyone's information. And publishing a roll call was a stressful time in our house. We were all pressed in the service to make the deadline for mailing. I can remember um, animated discussions where typists tried to correct his grammar or his pen rod isms that he injected into every roll call. Even my wife was recruited to type and would just roll her eyes and wince at the execution of the English language that she was witnessing. Nevertheless, his style must have fit the 325th, but I never heard any complaints from the audience. There were a few times when a growing collection of checker tail records and memorabilia threatened to overwhelm the house. My mother Jean, smiling, told him he wouldn't be cold in the grave after all this stuff would be on the front porch. But even she was a part of the group and how many times she made souvenirs of a checker tail pattern cloth for the wives. Only later in life did I appreciate the amount of time an effort my father devoted to keeping the 325th alive and well. And they picked an extraordinary trustee for their memories. My father was proud. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sure. The 325th for their contribution to our World War II victory, but also to building this nation in their lifetime. Franklin D. Roosevelt made his final speech about the day of infamy when attacked by Pearl Harbor uh, by the Japanese and in the end they put it on this monument but they left one sentence out uh, for the love of God that should be on there anyway thank you for your attention a dedication to today.